Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain, and today we're going to be looking at some of the essential tweaks that you would want to have installed on your iPad or iPhone if you were just starting jailbreaking and you're new, you don't know very much about it. Well, I'm going to try to share some of the things that took me several years to find or figure out while I was jailbreaking. The first few tweaks you want to get these are what I'm going to call the essential tweaks okay first on the list and I'm just going to go right down the list here that I've got made there's nothing they're in no particular order uh, first one is going to be Dropbox and that's not necessarily a jailbreak tweak but that's just something that you're going to need on your device in order to store your backups from package backup or anything else you might be using it for so go ahead and get Dropbox. It's this little blue icon right here. It's free and it's in the App Store, the iTunes App Store. All right. Now, another good tweak you want to get is called SB Settings. SB Settings is probably the most downloaded jailbreak tweak of all times. And you can see right here, um, this little box that came up whenever I swipe my status bar to the left and I'm trying to make sure the camera stays focused in good for you guys alright here you can change anything you want Bluetooth brightness so you can control your brightness there's a volume control in here uh, plus you can download different toggles that go inside here also from here you can go on to the more button and it will bring you into the SB settings um, I don't know what that notification was is the reason I'm sort of trying to cover it up it'll bring you into the, the SB settings There we go. It'll bring you into the SB settings uh, application. And in here is where you set up your gestures for everything, anything you want to change, anything you want to, to um, you know, like if you want to have the SB settings open whenever you swipe to the right, left, up, down. That's your activation methods. Okay, if you want to double press the home button to open up uh, SP settings, no problem. Right here it is. And you can scroll through many different types of gestures here to open up SP settings. It's very, very simple and easy to use. Alright. Up next is one that was just updated recently called Mobile Substrate. And what this does is, is if you have a problem when you download a tweak, if your device goes into a loop, if you have any kind of trouble, you can open up Mobile Substrate and it will tell you how to open it up when the device is booting up. Okay? All right, here it is. It allows you to bypass the horribly broken extensions that prevent the device from starting up at all that you may have installed from Cydia and it helps you this is going to be something that's going to save you a lot of hassle I can tell you right now I've had to use it you, it helps you reboot your device and you can scroll on down here and it tells you you hold the volume button down while it's booting up for so many seconds and it'll boot in the mobile substrate and that's like a safe mode there inside there you can open up Cydia and delete the last tweak that you just downloaded that was causing you the problems and you've solved your problem most of the time all right another awesome tweak is called activator and I sort of touched on it just a little bit earlier but anyway let me try to find it right here the little black the little black logo right here activator what activator does 
it allows you to open any applications or any tweaks anything you want to do you can open them with an activator all right let's take for instance that we want anywhere we're at no matter where we are when we double press the home button all right let's say when we double press the home button we want it to activate SB settings all right now no matter where I am when I double press the home button the little box up here of the SB settings box will open there you go when I double press my home button and I can set that for anything anything I want it to do all right let's go back in here and let's say when I double tap let's let's keep using double tap all right I can turn on my iPod my my iPod music I can control settings FaceTime I can open up the, the Twitter I mean you see right here you can take a screenshot and I use that a whole lot I've actually already got that set when I hold down the status bar it takes a picture watch this see it take that photo all right those are something that you just have to sort of dig into and learn how to use yourself you'll learn more well hands on another awesome tweak is called action menu and there is a free version versus a paid version if you want to get the paid version you get a few more options but even the free one is awesome as well so say we're wanting to test this tweak okay now say we want to select all this select all and we're going to copy it and we're going to come down here and we're going to paste it okay all right maybe maybe we write that all the time maybe that's say that's our email signature all right if we want to select it all I shouldn't have select all I should just select that line all right now I can come down here select select favorites and I can add that to my favorites list right there and you can see it, whenever I open this up I can just pull up favorites and now when I tap shoot now whenever I tap favorites it'll, it'll put test this tweak on there you can set it to tap to write anything you want it to awesome guys and the at the action menu part when you buy the paid version I think it's like a couple of dollars it gives you a lot more copy and paste you get the favorites I think with the paid version you don't get that with a free one and you can even tweet from action menu and you can turn on icons versus writing but I like the writing all right another essential tweak that you're going to want to get right off the bat when you begin jailbreaking is one called package backup and if I'm not mistaken package backup is $7.99 this is the iPhone version however it does work on the iPad why they haven't updated I couldn't tell you what I do here is I just simply hit the 2x and it blows it up and you can see right now that that it's actually uploading my latest backup to Dropbox and that's what it was just doing right there and you can set this to work on a schedule to uh, if you want to back up once a week once a month once a day or just whenever you want it to back up it's up to you for some reason it's crashing um, and I don't know what that's about. Maybe my device needs to be restarted, but I don't want to restart right now um, Another tweak I use a lot and this is really just more for decorative purposes than anything else Is a little tweak called Zeppelin and you see right up here in the top left corner the little red white and blue right here in the top left corner of my status bar the little red white and blue to iPhone that's called Zeppelin I use a tweak which is a free tweak 
called Zeppelin to put that there. All right, if I want to change that, I have several different iPhone Captain logos I can put up there. That's one of them. Here's another one. Okay, that one there sort of writes it out. It makes it look, it looks a little bit better, that one does. Um, it's not focusing in good for some reason. I can't, I can't hit the, the button. I'm, I'm a one-handed freak, guys. So that's the reason why a lot of times my camera's out of focus. I can't, I can't do two things at once. Anyway, getting off the pity party here. Uh, another one that you might want to check out if you're going to be into theming your device is Winterboard. When you download, uh, when you jailbreak your phone, it automatically installs Winterboard on it. And what it does, I think actually I have removed it. I had some problems with it the other day. And, um, but what Winterboard does, if I can find my phone, it's no big deal. It's no big deal winter board, isn't it? It's easy to use. I'm going to show you right here on my cell phone. Open up winter board. Right here is what winter board looks like. I have turned my brightness down on this. It's, it's off way too bright for this camera. Alright. Right here's winter board. And then you open it up and you can select different themes. You can download different themes in here. And then when you reboot your device it applies them. And it works on the hierarchy, the one above it takes precedent over the one below it. So if you've got something above it you like, it'll it'll take it, its place over the one below it. So keep that in mind when you're using it. Alright guys, those are several tweaks right there. You might want to check them out. They're awesome. They'll help you with your jailbreaking. Don't forget to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com and keep coming back.